Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Come Shop With Me. I am having an extremely bad hair day today. Um, it's very curly but like not cute curly and the curtain bangs are not cute hence why they are um tucked behind the ears and I wanted to slick my hair back but I didn't bring a hairband with me and I woke up at five o'clock this morning and I've just done my makeup in the car. <laughs> so let's just ignore the appearance of Kay today. I'm in Bath though because dad has driven me from Cornwall to Bath for me to be able to then get a train home from Bath to Cambridge. Hence why I was up so early this morning so we could get to Bath in time for dad to start work but I've got a couple of hours to kill before my train so I thought what better thing to do than go on a little solo shopping trip and I'm going to take you with me and we're going to go and have a little come shop with me because the shops here in Bath like the Primark is slightly better than Cambridge Primark and the Zara is 10 times better than Cambridge so I thought whilst we're here it'd be rude not to I thought we could go shopping together this hair I just can't cope with it the outfit's really boring as well but I wanted to be comfy for like traveling home on the train so ignoring the appearance let's just focus on what's in the shops <laughs> let's go shopping together first stop we're going to start with Primark because it's 9am it's quiet it's literally the best time to go to Primark okay we're in and they literally have loads of swim stuff like it's all summer stuff at the moment this is quite cool this little um stone sort of strap thing is quite cool I also quite like this beach bag for £12 I quite like that it's got a long strap inside and a zip as well. It's very, very quiet in here, so I'm having to talk really quietly because, like I said, they've literally just opened, so I'm like one of the only customers. I quite like this hat. I've got one very, very similar to it, so I don't need it, but I really like the kind of raw, distressed hem on it. It's £9, which I do feel like is quite expensive for Primark, but it's a really nice wide brim hat. And like I said, I've already got one like it and I wear it all the time, like I literally love it. Also, have Primark ever done this bikini in white before? Because I don't feel like I've ever seen this bikini top in white, and I don't know why, but it's just the classic like triangle tie top, tie back, only £2.50 one. I just don't feel like I've ever seen it in white, but I kind of love that they're now doing that. And then you can also get the matching bottoms for £2.50 as well. This pink bikini, I absolutely love. The colour of it is so nice. It's like a bandeau one, and then these are the bottoms. But of course, they don't have my size. They've sold out in like all the smaller sizes, which is gutting because I love it. It's only £5 for the top and £4 for the bottoms. And they also have it in orange. They've got like a crinkly orange version, and then they've also got the same as the pink one like the normal and then these are the bras and the orange so they've got this is the crinkly one and then the normal one looks like that but again in that one they also don't have my size which is such a shame because that pink and orange is so nice like that pink is a proper bubble gum this is also quite nice it's like a toweling material one this is quite nice for just a plain basic denim skirt like the length of it and everything looks really nice and also the shade of it only £11, that is not bad. It just looks like a really nice shape. Like, not too long, not too short. I mean, you literally cannot see that. Let's take it to a mirror. This is kind of it. I mean, this is not my size, so ignore the fact that it's a little bit wide. But lengthwise, that's kind of what it looks like, which I think is quite nice. I'm not really a denim shirt kind of person. However, I've just seen this, and I think this could be quite nice. If you've seen on TikTok, there's this girl with, like, a denim shirt on. And I think she's wearing denim shorts a bit, and it looks so nice together. And I'm just thinking this would be cute for that. Like, if you've got some grey denim shorts and wore it like that. I mean, that would probably sounds ridiculous unless you know what I'm talking about. There's this girl with like brown hair, she posted an outfit the day on TikTok. Went slightly viral, people loved it, but that's the vibe I'm thinking of with that could actually look kind of cute. And it is 20 pound, kind of expensive, but I think style the right way that could look kind of cute. I'm in the gym wear section. I found these which look quite nice. They're like a gray cycling shop. They've got a fold over waistband detail, which I quite like. For only £4.50, I mean, the quality is not amazing. They're not like thick like the Adenola dupes. They're kind of just like your basic kind of Primark leggings material. But I quite like the fold over waistband. It makes them a little bit different. I quite like these bags. They're kind of giving like expensive sort of vibes. They've got black, chocolatey brown and the white. But I don't know what it is about this colour, but I just feel like this colour and the shape of it kind of looks like something you'd get in Zara. And that's only £9. In Zara, that'd be like £20, £30. I don't like the gold um, little padlock. But other than that, I actually think that's kind of cute. That's interesting. £16 if you want a bright bogey green jumper. This belt would be so nice on holiday around like a white dress or something. I just think the straw vibes of it, like the rattan, it's just giving holiday vibes, like beach bag, that kind of thing would look really cute. This is also kind of interesting. I quite like the shape of that to just like throw over your shoulder. They also have it in a black as well and also like a blue colour. It's just like an easy throw on. I mean, it really does not go with this outfit, but like on holiday, quite a cute little like beach bag, easy to just chuck on. Also really easy to fold in your suitcase because it's so flat, so it's not gonna take up much space if you're going abroad. Especially if you've got hand luggage, like only got like the hand luggage, little wee suitcase things, that would pack down really nicely. I also really like this bag they have, this little like rattan um, short shoulder strap, but it does also have a long one in there. I think that's really nice for the summer, that would go with so much. I really like this pack of earrings because they come with some ear cuffs, like these ones on the far left. These three here are ear cuffs and then these are earrings. And I love that little singular dot one. And then these are giving the Tega vibes. For £5.50, 
That is so good. I also like these ones. These like chunky heaps for £2.50 look really nice. Okay, now for the beauty section. Are they going to have the blush drops that I'm desperate for? Or is this going to be incredibly unsuccessful? This looks quite fun. I've never seen this before. Noodle cleanser. Noodle cleanser and laser cleanser. What does that mean? I don't get it. That one is dragon fruit fragrance and that one is strawberry fragrance. And I'm kind of tempted. This also looks a bit like Sol de Janeiro GP just like the packaging of it they've got loads of bright things here i don't know why i'm so attracted to it when i'm a neutrals girly oh my god these are so cute look at these for like a little travel um little travel bottle how cute little cactus and an ice cream i don't know why i can't get my words out today i can't apparently use my brain but that is so cute they've also got this little travel set as well with um with like sponges and um why can't i think today bottles why can't i say that word i don't know they also have these body glaze things which i've never heard of oh my god that looks so fun though kind of looks like play-doh it says it's a body lotion watermelon sundae fragrance and berry gumdrop fragrance for £3.50 that looks kind of fun but also like body glaze that makes me feel like an original glaze original glazed crispy cream donut and I don't know how I feel about that I keep seeing all this stuff on TikTok like this superfood um like skincare range so they've got a papaya cleanser this kombucha glow moisturizer what's this oh I don't think that's meant to be there it's like a volume powder for your hair an avocado recovery serum and then this coconut eye makeup remover kind of reminds me of like the Sephora collection stuff as well because they do like coconut things like this I've got a tester for the papaya balm oil cleanser I thought we could give it a smell it's quite small though I feel like and it's not cheap it's five pounds It doesn't really have any smell to it. This is the consistency, so you just kind of like get it out and then I do like these balms or cleansers, but I feel like five pounds for that is quite expensive. And also with it being Primark, I don't know like how good it would be. Like, is that gonna be good for your skin? Do you know what I mean? Like I'm kind of tempted to try this stuff out, but then I'm also like, I don't know if it's actually gonna be like any good, like whether it's worth it. They also have this. I feel like they've got so much new like beauty stuff in. This is a body sorbet and I've tried one of these from the body shop before and they're such a nice consistency. I don't know if this one would be similar, but I do quite like a body sorbet. That's four pound and it's papaya sherbet fragrance. I actually, I'm kind of tempted, but again, I feel like four pound for that from Primark is quite expensive. Like I feel like they really are boosting their prices up. This is a little hair section. They've got loads of dupes in here as well. Hair oil shine. That's the volume thing I saw a second ago. Olaplex dupes. This is like a, um, what is the brand? Beauty Works, what's this? leave-in bonding repair mask a curl scrunching jelly this is from that same range again i don't really get this it's a hair and scalp serum but like what does that do i'm kind of intrigued to try it but like i don't really know what the point of it is it says what does that say smooths and controls frizzy hair for three pound fifty a pre-wash restore oil and this is like a hair mask which i think is also a color well dupe this is color well again heat protect cream shimmer texturizing spray interesting i don't think i'd want to put that in my hair personally but they have so much stuff i kind of love it when they come out with all the beauty stuff i don't know why i just get so excited to buy it this looks kind of cute a little strawberry cupcake sheet mask i would have loved that when i was younger i don't know why but the packaging i just love that i might have jumped on the trend they've made some um little blemish patches these are kind of cute for two pound you get 12 and they're little cherries i actually love these blemish patches as well i feel like they make getting a spot a little bit more fun because i just get excited to be able to use them because they're so flipping cute and they're also made in korea which i feel like gets 10 extra points because korean skincare they know what they're doing with it i've also just found this they literally have so much stuff hair juicer conditioning and detangling hair spritz i actually think i might get that because i do love me a detangling spray and it's what well, oh my god it's got like an oil layer on top i'm actually not sure how i feel about that why has it got like a different layer I don't think I want to spray that much oil in my hair. That feels a little bit weird to me. And they've also got this, which again is giving like Sol de Janeiro dupes, this shimmering, oh no, illuminating body butter. It says shimmer on the top there. They've got a shimmer and exfoliate body scrub and also a golden glow body gel. I feel like this on holiday would look so nice all over your skin. This appears to be the blush section. And although they've got a lot of stuff in, it doesn't look like they have the blush dupes that I'm desperate for. They've also come out with loads of like holiday sun kind of bits. They've got a body tan enhancer, which I'm kind of intrigued by, but it's £7 and I don't know if it'll actually be any good. And they've got an after sun facial serum, an SPF 50 face milk. And then they've also got this after sun body sorbet and a cooling refreshing body mist. They actually came out with this last year and I actually got it and it's really nice and refreshing. Like it actually does do the job. I don't know how it's so cooling, but it does make you feel cold when you put it on, which is quite nice if it's like really hot, especially in the UK with the no air con, that is a lifesaver. And they've also got these lip products in the sun range. There's a lip balm, a lip butter mask, and also a lip gloss oil. 
I don't think I'd want to put that on my lips in the sun because even though it's SPF I feel like that would just burn my lips off. I finally managed to find it. They've got the airbrush foundation which I think is meant to be a dupe of Charlotte Tilbury and then they've also got the new Tarte concealer dupe which literally looks identical and that's only £3.50 so I think I'm going to pick that up. I need to work out my shade and then I'll give it a go and let you know in the weekly vlogs what I think of it. I've come to the homeware section and they've got loads of like the fruit stuff that I keep seeing on TikTok. They've got a really cute little strawberry cushion for six pound and then they've got all these like strawberry candles they've got a lemon strawberry watermelon and then i've just seen this look at this for a tk maxx dupe four pound fifty for this like lemon cello um like can shaped candle clearly someone on primark's like team have been on tiktok and seen the ones from tk maxx that go viral and they've come out with their own ones i'm gonna give it a smell and see if it's actually any nice mm. it's giving like lemony mixed with like a manly scent and i don't really think that's a little bit of me. They also have this whole mango scented range and this like diffuser reefer is absolutely giant. They've also got a room spray, candles. Again, let's give it a smell, see if it's actually any nice. Oh my God, that's delicious. That is such a nice scent, it proper smells like mango. Let's see how much the room spray is because that's actually so nice. £4.50, that's actually not bad. That smells so summery and refreshing. Little bit late to the party, but Primark have finally brought out some like styling cup tubes. This colour is so nice, this pink colour. These are £10. Which actually, I mean, I personally get the ones off TikTok shop. I mean, this one does have like a little cover on it, which is quite handy. But I just think the TikTok shop ones look a little bit nicer personally, and they're a similar price. I'm now downstairs in the pyjama section, seeing if they've got any nice, cute, like, spring summery bits. I mean, these are a really nice bright colour for summer, but they're not a little bit of me. I do quite like this floral set, though. I've seen it a couple of times. It's kind of giving granny-ish, but I think these trousers with a cute little, like, crop top or something could be so nice because they're so pretty. They're like a watercolour and they're satin, so they're so soft. These are kind of cute. These, like, little white striped satin pyjamas. They're £15 for the top and the bottoms. I just think they look so nice. Like, the top looks like a nice boxy fit, and they've also got these shorts, which are, like, got little bobbles on, but they're just, like, little striped shorts, which, oh, wait, no, they're not. They're trousers. I take it back. Still kind of cute though. I quite like this design as well. Again, it's giving granny-ish, but it's so soft. Like this material is honestly like so buttery. That's a nighty, which definitely is giving like hospital vibes, but the dressing gown's kind of cute. For £14, it is honestly like the softest, nicest material. And they also have it in a shirt and then these like wide leg trousers, which again with like a white vest top, I think would be so cute. But honestly, the material of these, they are so soft, like so worth the £12 just for the material. Okay, Primark is done. Next up, I'm gonna go to Zara. And I actually love the Zara in Bath because it's new. So it's all like big and spacious they've only recently built it and i actually love it because it's like it's like the ones in london like it is so nice i'm gonna go there next and see if they've got anything i didn't actually buy anything in primark like all the things i wanted they either didn't have my size or they didn't have my shade like in the foundation and the concealer i don't know what i'm doing with my hand um so that's probably like one of the first times ever i've come out of primark empty-handed anyway i'm rambling and it's starting to rain a little bit so i will see you in zara do you see what i mean about the zara like it is so spacious and so nice I've just seen this dress which looks kind of cute, maybe for like a holiday or a summer wedding. It's like a puffy little short dress. I don't really know what that's meant to be on it. Is that like a hair or like a rabbit? I don't really know. And then just some flowers. But I think that's really pretty. Like the colours of that and the shape of that is really, really nice. And it is £49.99. That's the code as well, if anybody wants it. Can you tell from my outfit of the day that I'm about to spend like three slash four hours traveling home because this is giving so basic and boring. Not the world's most interesting outfit of the day, but the top is Miss Pap and the leggings are always show. I've been wearing this outfit so much recently because it's just so comfy. And then I just quite out a Nola tote bag and a bad hair day. We love that. This dress would be kind of cute if it wasn't for all the sequins in it. Like, I don't know why they've done that. It's like a little tweed frayed little dress and I think the shape of it is really nice but I just don't like all the sparkles they've put in it I feel like it kind of ruins it but the shape of that is kind of cute this is kind of giving scary spice vibes it's a really nice shaped dress like a kind of a-line is that a-line I don't even know what I'm talking about I don't know what the shape is but it's this shape but it is kind of giving me caveman kind of scary spice vibes and I don't really know how I feel about it this dress is a similar shape as well but it's like a really nice thick knitted material like it's so thick and soft and it's so nice I feel like the lighting isn't really doing it justice but it's like a similar shape to that um like leopardy cheetah print one but the material is so much nicer this section is very me I'm a very big fan I quite like this I probably wouldn't wear it myself but this is like a little denim striped skirt and then you can get a matching waistcoat which I think is really cute and then I also really like this skirt because I love the fact that it's got this like exposed pocket detail. I wish it was white though rather than blue, but with this like blue shirt together, it could look kind of cute. This is the code as well. If anyone wants it, 29.99. But yeah, I just wish that was white because I'd wear that a lot more, but still that is so cute. I've also realized I say cute in these videos way too many times. 
Apologies if my overshoes said that word. This Zara is honestly the best. Like, look at the layout. Look at all the dry mirrors everywhere. It is honestly like the best Zara because it's like the London ones, but it's quieter because it's in Bath. So it's literally the best of both worlds. Like, Cambridge um, Zara honestly has nothing on this. I wish this was my local Primark because I literally, not Primark, my local Zara because I literally love coming in here. This is that knitted dress again, but I feel like you can see it's slightly easier here because of like how it's hung up on the hanger. I don't know if it'd be a little bit too long for my personal preference, but it is so nice. Like the quality, it's so thick. Here's the infamous trousers that everyone seems to be loving at the moment. This dress is so nice. It's like a bandeau stripey one. I think on holiday that would look so nice. I really randomly like this vest. Like it's so basic. They also have it in this like, mushy pea from the fish and chip shop colour but this grey colour I think is so nice with like some white wide leg trousers it's like a knitted vest it's so soft as well I think that would look so nice or even with like grey trousers or like denim shorts and stuff it's only 19.99 I'm kind of tempted to try that on because that's a little bit of me this is like that grey denim shirt I saw in Primark which I think would look really nice again with like shorts or something like that girl on TikTok was wearing because I feel like that denim shirt is like the perfect shape and colour for that. This is such a nice red bag. I'm not really in the market for them because red's a little bit too like bright and pop of colour for me but I actually think that is so nice. Like that is so vibrant and would just add a pop of colour to any outfit. Like even what I'm wearing today I think that would look really nice with like red sambas or something. It's just a really basic bag but it would add so much to an outfit. This little two-piece looks so comfy. I love the shape of the top as well. It's really boxy and baggy and it's got like a distressed edge to it. Same with the shorts. They've got a grey, like a weird sort of brownie colour and then like a dark grey colour, which I don't particularly love, but the light grey mall I do really like. I just think that'd be so comfy. Especially the top as well, like you could wear that with so many things, but together as well it would look really cute. There we go again. I've just said the word cute. I don't know why I can't help myself. I don't know how I feel about this hat. I think it's kind of cool, but also like if I wore that out, would someone think that I'm part of a fishing club? Which isn't really the vibe I'm going for. This dress is so nice for the summertime. Just a really easy chuck on, like lightweight floaty dress. I love the neckline. I love the distress detail. I think I might have to get that in the summer because that is so nice. She's giving Barbie. Another thing I love about this Zara is the changing rooms. Like, look at how spacious, and I don't get how this works right, but you just hold this up and it manages to scan it, and it somehow like knows how many items you've got. Like, it's honestly magical. It says I've got three, but I've actually got one on my shoulder, so it didn't pick that up, but still. I picked up the bandeau dress. I also picked up the gray little vest, and I've got some white trousers just to try on with it. And then I've also got um, the white knitted dress that I really liked. And I thought we could do like a little change room try on section, because I always feel like these are worth doing, because then you can actually see how the clothes look on. Okay, we started with the best top, which I don't love as much as I thought I would. I think I need to get like the next size up. This is a small, but they only had smalls or extra larges, but I would have preferred like a medium or a large just to give it a bit more of an oversized fit. And also these trousers aren't quite what I wanted, but these were the only white trousers I could find. I think something a bit more wide leg is kind of what I was envisioning, but this kind of gives you a rough idea. But I think with some different trousers maybe sized up, this could look quite cute and it is so soft. Why did I say cute again? I am driving my Myself mad in this video. I don't know why my brain can't think of any other adjective today. Um, let's try and think of another one. It's a lovely little top. Um, it is so soft, like the material is lovely. This one has got a pulled thread there as well. So I think I might try and order a medium, maybe a medium and a large online just to try them. So I think a little bit more oversized sticking out with like my, I'm thinking my Sun Darby white trousers. If you've watched my videos, you probably know them. I think them with this would look so nice. I actually love this dress. It is so nice. It is the thickest material. I've probably got a little bit of makeup on it, I can't lie. Cause it's like quite, um, it's stretchy, but it's really, really fitted. But the material, once it's on, is even nicer than it feels on the hanger. It is so thick and so nice and I feel like for the springtime in the UK this is perfect because it's a dress but because it's so thick it'll keep you that bit warmer however the only annoying thing is I recently got a dress like this from Zara which I got makeup on when I tried it on so I couldn't return it like I ordered it online so I've already got something very similar to this but it's not knitted and I much prefer this one but it's too similar to the other one for me to justify buying it if you know what I mean but this is so nice. It just fits so nicely and I just love the material. I know I keep banging on about it, but honestly, this quality, 10, 10. I am slightly out of breath because this was a little bit of a workout to get on because it is so tight and I like stepped into it and pulled it up. So it was a little bit of a shimmy, this is so tight, oh my God. But now that it's on, I love the fact that it's so tight because it is so figure hugging. Like it's so flattering. I love this little like fold over detail. You can't really see it. Like it's not super noticeable, but I still really like that. It's nice and tight so I don't feel like like my boobs aren't being supported like 
don't get me wrong, don't have the biggest chest department. But even so, I don't really like not wearing a bra because I don't like my boobs not feeling like held. That sounds really weird. <laughs> but in this, they feel like super nice and held and supported. So big fan of that. And yeah, it's just a really nice length. This is what it looks like. Obviously it doesn't really go with the socks. It definitely doesn't go with the Uggs that I've got there. Also ignore my bra. But this on holiday, especially with the tan, my chest is quite pale, but with like a super golden tan on holiday, slick back bun, or even just like in the UK in the summertime, because it's nice and thick, it would actually work really well for UK summertime. I actually do kind of love this. It fits so nicely as well. This is it on a size six, as in I am a size six. And the size I got is, I can't see, I'm struggling to do this. What size is that? A size small, I think that is. But yeah, I really like that. So that was actually a somewhat successful little try-on section. I'm now gonna get dressed again and then we shall either go to H&M or Boots next, I think. In a different color, I think this could look really nice, like a cream or a beige. It's kind of even Zara vibes. I don't really like the color though. It's a bit like murky brown. $37.99 but with like some wide leg trousers that could look really nice. I've just noticed it on this model and it actually looks really nice. I probably wouldn't wear it with the black trousers but like all white with like a white top and white trousers that could look really nice. This is kind of cute, just a basic little waistcoat. I love these kind of things for the springtime. I feel like $27.99 is quite pricey for it but it is quite a nice one. I absolutely love linen trousers for the summertime and these ones look quite nice. They've got a really lovely beige pair, a kind of greeny colour, white and black and they're really good price as well. They're only $15.99 which is so good. That's the code if anyone wants it, but they actually look like a really nice shape of linen trouser. So if you don't have any linen trousers for the summertime, I'd recommend getting these white ones from H&M because you'll find that they go with so much and you'll wear them all the time. There are so many of these denim shirt things at the moment. This H&M one's actually quite nice. Again, I think actually the girl that was wearing it on TikTok wasn't wearing denim shorts. I think she had these like blue striped little like comfy shorts on. And again, this would look so nice like that. There's just so many of them at the moment and I wouldn't normally think to wear them, but ever since I've seen that girl wearing it, I'm kind of obsessed with them. This one's actually so nice. It's a little bit of a darker denim than I'd like, but $27.99 for that one. But I feel like the shape, like the boxy kind of crop is really nice. H&M normally have really nice caps with slogans on, but all we've got at the moment is Dragonfly, which I'm not really feeling like. That is not really giving. But their hats are normally cute. This one says Greenwich, which is where I've got to go next week for the start of the marathon. So I definitely do not want that because the thought of that is making me feel sick. So we shall move swiftly on from that. I normally really like H&M's accessory section. They normally have some really nice things, but today I'm not really loving it. This pajama set though looks so nice. Look at this shirt, it's like a muslin, it's so soft. It's like a kind of like musliny linen material. And then you can also get matching shorts to go with it, which is so cute. I love that for the summertime. I would actually wear that as like a little two piece cold out of the house and just pretend it's not pajamas because that is so nice. Like that material is so soft. It's 32 99 which isn't bad. I mean, for pajamas, it's quite expensive, but if you're going to be a weirdo like me and wear it out of the house, for like $32.99 if you wore enough times, cost per wear. We can girl maths it, we can make that okay. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit rogue now. I'm gonna go into Lush, purely because I've seen they've come up with a Shrek collection, which just seems so rogue to me, and I'm just intrigued and I wanna go and have a look at it. And then next door there's a tiger as well, so I'm also gonna pop in there. I don't know if they're actually gonna have it in store, like I can't see any display or anything. I'm now in Tiger and they've got the cutest little strawberry section. How cute would this be for a little summer picnic? They've got a mug little glass, little dishes. We've even got like a little picnic blanket and like picnic baskets. This would literally be so cute for like a little summer barbecue with like the red strawberry theme. Imagine like a nice big pint of Pims and that, oh my God, with ice and strawberries, that would be delicious. And that cushion and this little basket as well. Again, with the strawberry theme, that is so cute. Okay, that was a fail because they didn't have any of the Shrek stuff in Lush. And like, I was in there for about one minute and I had about three um, staff assistants come up to me. And I know that that is their job, but I personally don't like that. Like. Fair enough, one person asked me if I need help, but like, please just let me shop on my own. I don't like talking to people when I'm shopping. That's probably just me being really antisocial. Um, and the only cute things they had in Tiger were the strawberry stuff. And it is now absolutely chucking it down. And I've got sunglasses on my hair because the flat hair is just doing my head in. So anyway, that was a little bit of fail. I don't know where I'm gonna go to next. I'm not really too sure what other shops I fancy going to. I've got half an hour until I need to get my train home. So let's see if there's any other shops I fancy going in. Now for boots, do I need anything? No, but do I love a random trip browsing around boots? Yes, I do. I really want to try this because I keep seeing people talk about it on TikTok, the Garnier Vitamin C, but I want to get the Glow one. And every single boots I've been in, they've been out of stock. But now's a really good time to get it because it's on the save a third. But this is the invisible one, which I don't really want. Like if I'm going to get it, I want to get this one because it's tinted. I'm also really tempted to try some things from Bioma and also Bubble, but I'm waiting for them to be on offer because they've got, they always have like the body stuff on offer, but I don't know what's good and I'd rather get it when it's on offer. But like, I just love the packaging. I want to try this, like the brightening toner. And I also want to try this 
this slam dunk moisturizer but yeah i'm waiting for it to be on offer because i just don't know what's actually good from here all the pixie things are on offer i bought this the other day i haven't used it yet though but um on the glow blush but they're on offer for 11.99 at the moment instead of 18 pound which is so good we all know i've been very unsuccessful with finding the primark blush drops but i have just found these from 17 and this color looks so nice they've got these little blush drops i don't know how much they are but that's in the shade candy pink which looks really nice they've also got bronzer drops but they've all sold out it says two for five pounds from this display which is so good but i don't know how much they are normally but i actually love 17 makeup like it's so cheap like the cc cream is only like five pound but their stuff is so good i've also just found these at maybelline i've never seen these before but they've got like these blush and bronzers sun kisser blush and bronzer these look really nice this color looks lovely i'm kind of tempted by that but i've not heard anything about them like i've literally never seen these before i guess they must be really new out and i also love this the maybelline skin tint i'm very late to the party but i got it recently um i think i use I think it's shade 40 but i literally love this like i don't wear foundation anymore because this is so nice so i definitely recommend that and i am back in the car that is the extent of the shopping trip i didn't actually end up buying anything i did not buy a single thing which is so unlike me but i'm also kind of proud of myself because i've not spent any money but i've still enjoyed browsing and window shopping and i hope you've enjoyed coming along with me as well i would have popped to tk max if i had a little bit more time but i do not want to miss my train i do want to go home so that i can straighten my hair because this is not a cute situation but anyway thank you all for watching this video give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe down below if you haven't already and i will see you at some point soon in another video bye